now for a Ketchikan Christmas story. It was the night before Christmas, and all through the burrow, few creatures were stirring, if we're being thorough. The harbor seals dozed down under the docks, and the sea lions, too, out on the wet rocks. The deer softly nestled in bracken fern beds, while sweet dreams of spring greens danced in their heads. The bears in the mountains with the high snowy caps had settled in months ago for their long winter's naps. At the Ketchikan airport, the runway lights glowed like a Christmas tree on a steroid overload. The marshallers dozed in the break room, awaiting the last flight of the night, and their schedule rotating. From out on the tarmac, there arose such a ruckus, they awoke and leapt up to see what the fuss was. They threw on their coats, and to the side door they dashed, so quickly that into each other they crashed. Then out into the darkness, these fellows, they peered, and caught wondering sight of eight soggy reindeer. The moon was well hidden by the clouds and the rain, but what the runway lights lit was far from mundane. A little old driver in a heavy red mac jumped from the sleigh nimbly and sloshed round the back. The whole gosh darned setup was so perfectly gnomic, they knew right away that this guy was Saint Nick. They approached with some deference for his age and his plight. Mr. Santa, sir, how can we help you tonight? The spry little elf looked those boys up and down. If you want to help, you can find me a ride into town. My reindeer can't navigate in this drizzle and murk, and it's Rudolph's day off, so we just made it work. But Ketchikan, wow, you're on the record as rainy, but I wasn't prepared for just how much, plainly. A quick radio call to security proved that the night guard was there, and her pickup truck, too. Sure, I'll take him round town for deliveries, she said, if it means I'll be home soon, warm and dry in my bed. So into her beat-up blue pickup they packed the small storied saint and his massive gift sack. The guys on the ferry were made well aware, and Santa himself paid the $12 fare. So who's first, Mr. Nicholas? The night guard inquired. Let's make it fast too, or I might just get fired. Don't worry, my dear, you'll be back for your mist, he replied as he cheerily shook out his list. To Jefferson, Madison, third, fourth, and front, down Tongas and Stedman, Fairview and Deermont, up to Sunset and Pond Reef, Dee Loop and Cranberry, then south to Buggies, Killer Whale, Roosevelt, and Old Dairy. From Settler's Cove in the north to the end of the road, the night guard chauffeured Santa and his payload. Magic propelled them along instead of diesel or gas, and the trooper waved cheerily as he let the truck pass. Then, back on the ferry, back in the chill. The reindeer and sleigh were in an empty plane hangar, dry and fed on fresh popcorn and happy to linger. But St. Nick had many more stops before dawn, so he leapt into the sleigh with a wave and a yawn. Thanks for your help, folks! And then, as he flew out of sight, Merry Christmas to all, and to all, good night.